electrical potential energy. It's the energy stored in a system of two charges a distance r apart. So let's go over some of the formulas that uh, we, we know from the past. So we know that work is equal to the change in energy, and work is also equal to force times distance. Well, now we're dealing with electrical force. And the formula for electrical force is Fe is equal to KQ1, Q2, divided by R squared. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this in right here for F. So I'm going to change this F with the electrical force F. So when I do that, I end up with KQ1, Q2 over R squared. And I can't forget, I need it times by this distance. Well, we're calling our distances R, so I'm just going to switch that to an R. So times R. So the F is this part of the formula. The D is this part of the formula. And I have an R in the numerator, an R in the denominator. They will cancel out. So I am left with this formula. So EE is equal to KQ1. Q2 over R. Electrical potential difference or voltage. We use the symbol V for voltage. The value in volts of the potential energy per unit charge. So if I actually write down exactly what that says, so voltage is how much electrical energy we have for every unit of charge. Well, we just found out this formula for electrical energy, which is KQ1, Q2, divided by R. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in here. So instead of the EE, -E, I'm going to write KQ1, Q2, divided by R. So that's my numerator, and the whole thing is divided by this Q. Well, what I notice happens is this Q cancels out one of, with one of the ones at the top. So I'm actually left with KQ over R. So I can just simply write that potential difference, which we know is the electrical energy per unit charge, can also be found by just taking that constant K, which is 8.99 times 10 to the 9, times the charge divided by R. We know another formula. So we also know the formula, electric field intensity. So if you want to feed the, find the electric field, we know the formula is KQ over R squared. Well, we can just play with this formula a little bit. If I just take the KQ over R, well, that's equal to V. So what I'm going to do is just take this part leave one of the R's behind and replace that with a V. That's actually equal to a V. So electric field can also be written as V over R. Example number one, calculate the electrical potential a distance of 0.4 meters from a spherical point charge of 6.4 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Well, let's write down what I know. So first thing is I'm looking for this electrical potential. Well, electrical potential is just your voltage. So I'm looking for the voltage. We know what the distance R is. So R is equal to 0 0.4 meters. And the charge is 6.4 times 10 to the negative 6. That's measured in coulombs. Well, I can use one of my new formulas, which I just came up with on the other page. So I'm going to use the formula V is equal to KQ over R. K is a constant. That's just 8.99 times 10 to the 9. Q I have right here is 6.4 times 10 to the negative 6. And R my line in is 0.4. 
when I put all that into my calculator, I end up with 1.4 times 10 to the 5 volts. So potential difference or voltage is measured in volts. Example number two. How much work must be done to increase the potential of a charge of 3 times 10 to negative 7 coulombs by 120 volts? So we're looking for the work, and work is the same thing as saying the change in energy. We're given the charge, so the charge Q is 3 times 10 negative 7 coulombs, and the voltage is 120 volts. Well, my other formula for voltage is V is equal to the energy per unit charge. And all I need to do is rearrange this for energy. So to do that, I multiply both sides by Q, and I end up with EE is equal to VQ. Plug in my number, so 120 times 3 times 10 to the negative 7. And I end up with 3.6 times 10 to the negative 5. Now, in this question here, there's only one significant digit there, so I need to round this to 4. So this will just be 4 times 10 negative 5 joules. Our third example. This is the magnitude of the electric field strength between two parallel plates is 450 newtons per coulomb. The plates are connected to a battery with an electric potential difference of 95 volts. So that's the voltage. What is the plate separation? So let's write down what we know. So we know the electrical field strength, that's that kind of backwards 3, is 450 newtons per coulomb. We know the voltage is 95. And we're looking for R. We want to know how far apart the plates are. The other new formula that we developed was this one. So electric field is equal to V divided by R. I want to get R all by itself, so I have to get at the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by R and then divide by the electrical field intensity. So I get R is equal to V over this electrical field, plug in what I know. So V is 95 divided by 450, and that gives me 0 0.21 meters.